Hi, are you thinking about applying for a new role in the new year? And are you trying to figure out some ways for you to brush up on your interviewing skills? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a few ways that you can use ChatGPT, which is a new AI open interface that's text-based to practice your interviewing skills. Hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Juliana McMillan Wilhoy, and I am passionate about helping GIS professionals you along that journey. So let's dive into this video. Now, first of all, I want to say that I believe that actually practicing interviewing skills face to face is probably one of the most important things that you can do to prepare for a dream interview. I actually offer GIS interview practice where you can book a time with me and we can actually do a practice interview. And I think that using the tool that I'm going to outline in this video is not a replacement for actually practicing face-to-face. -face. So I love it if um, you find this video helpful and if you actually want to do a little bit of practice on your own and then you actually want to do a real interview face-to-face, -face, I think that, that that's actually really great and I would invite you to book some time with me, um, which you can find all the information in the description below. But anyway, let's get into talking about how to leverage ChatGPT to, to, to be able to practice your interviewing. Now, first, I want to say that this idea actually came from my pal, John Solly, who wrote a blog post about this. Now, I've sort of taken, taken his approach and, and moved it in a, in a slightly different direction, but I just want to give credit where credit is due. So thanks so much, John, and I will also link his blog post in the description below. So what we're going to be using is two tools, ChatGPT, which is an AI um, chat back and forth tool, which is free at least as of this recording to use, and then another tool called otter.ai, which is a AI-based voice transcription service. So let's get into uh, to how we're going to do this. Here. All right, so here I am in a Microsoft Word document and I have a prompt for you. I will put this in the comments below and this is something that again is based off of what John Zolly already did and I again just want to give credit where credit is due. So in this Word document, I have um, the basis for what we're going to ask ChatGPT to do. I want you to act as an interviewer. I will be the candidate and you will ask me the interview questions for a GIS analyst role. In this next paragraph, which is highlighted, you can actually put in a little bit of information about the GIS analyst role. So for this, I just copied and pasted some information from a job posting on LinkedIn. And I'm going to, and we just pasted it in here. Now, this actually is not a role for local government. This is a role. And then uh, this bottom part is I want you to only reply as the interviewer. Do not write all the conversation at once. Please ask only one question at a time. I want you to only interview with me. Ask me one question at a time and wait for my answers. Do not write explanations. Ask me questions one by one like an interviewer does and wait for my answers. My first sentence is hi. All right. So let's go ahead and copy and paste all of this and go ahead and put it into ChatGPT. So I'm over here on the ChatGPT website and uh, this again, as of right now in on December 17th, 2022 is a free tool for you to use. All you need to do is create an account and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click paste. And it is going to um, take a moment and it's going to process the information that we've given us and it is going to ask us a question. So could you tell me a little bit more about your previous experience with GIS software and databases? So one, one way that you could do this is you could go ahead and you could type in your answers into this chat box, but a better way to actually practice your interviewing skills is if you use otter.ai, otter.ai. Otter.ai is a free tool that enables you to transcribe conversations. I use it all the time in the different work that I do. And I use it all the time for sending voice memos to people and other things. But what's really great is that we can then take the question that ChatGPT asked us, we can speak a response and then copy and paste that back into ChatGPT. So our question again was, could you tell me a little bit more about your previous experience with GIS software and databases? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click record. I have a vast experience with GIS software and GIS databases. I have been working in the field for over a decade and have done a variety of work in this field. I started off my career working for Esri in technical support. And so within that field, I...
And within my work for Esri, I was able to gain a lot of experience understanding all the different parts of the GIS software. I began really good at troubleshooting the software, etc. And so then you can then um, get your response from otter.ai. I'm gonna pause my recording here and it, then I can actually just copy and paste my response back here into um, ChatGPT. And so then, you know, it's gonna, gonna going to think about my what what I said, and then it will give me another question. And again, you can go back and forth and back and forth. And um, again, you know, recording in Otter.ai and pasting your responses back into ChatGPT. Say that you've gone and you've done this back and forth a number of times. One of the final things you can do is you can actually ask GP, ChatGPT to give you feedback. So um, let's assume. Can you please give, give me specific feedback on what I can improve? And then it will give you that feedback. I think that leveraging ChatGPT and Otter.ai is a really great way for you to begin practicing your interview skills to be able to level up your career in the new year. However, I don't think that this process of back and forth is necessarily going to replace face-to-face -face interview practice. One of the things that I noticed even as I was prepping for this was how I was stumbling over my words and how I maybe wasn't the most um, efficient in my responses. And that's something that really only practicing face-to-face -face with someone is really going to be able to provide. However, ChatGPT is going to be really great at giving you questions that you may not have experienced before, practicing that back and forth, but I don't think it really can replace that face-to-face -face interaction with someone. So I hope that this video is something that you have found useful. If you're looking for somebody to practice that back and forth of an interview with, I do offer interview prepping through my one-on-one -on -one GIS career coaching. I have a lot of experience both on the end of hiring people to be um, to work in a variety of GIS roles, as well as just practice with working with a lot of different people and helping them prepare for their interviews. And so I hope that this video is something that you find useful. It'd be really helpful if you uh, like this video um, and if you subscribe to my channel, as well as provide a comment if you found this video to be useful. I really try and produce content that is helpful to people as you create a GIS career that you love.